Hello and welcome. My name is Todd and today we're going to be talking about multiple monitors. Actually, more specifically, dual monitors. There are several advantages of having more than one monitor attached to your computer. The first is that it provides additional desktop space for work or for play. You can use it for presentations to display them on larger screens or projectors. And you can also use them in various home theater applications. There are two different ways to have more than one monitor on your computer. The first one we're going to talk about is what's called a mirrored desktop. A mirrored desktop is when the exact same image appears on two monitors connected to the same machine. In this example here, you see that both monitors are displaying the exact same image with the icons down the left-hand side and the taskbar along the bottom. Next is extended desktop. An extended desktop is when two monitors that are connected to the same machine each display separate images to allow for a larger viewable work area. This is different than mirroring the desktop because each monitor will not show identical images. In this example, you can see that the taskbar and the icons on the left-hand monitor have been removed, and it simply is extending the work area from the laptop. There are three things that we need to talk about when we talk about extended desktop. The first are the various types of connections involved, the type of equipment used, and the setup inside the software. Let's start with the connections. The first type of connection we're going to talk about is a VGA connection. It's a fairly standard connection type. It has 15 pins and is shaped like a capital D. The next is DVI. It's not as common, but is increasing in popularity. It comes in two types, DVI-D and DVI-I. Only DVI-I can be converted to VGA. Last is HDMI. This is the most recent style of connection. It's used for high-definition home theater equipment and can carry audio as well as video. It can be converted to DVI, but not to VGA. Now let's talk about the various types of equipment used. VGA splitters can split a single signal and display it onto two monitors. This is an example of a mirrored desktop. VGA splitters have various pros and cons. Some of the pros are that it's inexpensive and easy to install, and there's no PC-based setup required. The cons are that it will not extend the desktop, and it's not as configurable. Most laptops and many netbooks have at least a VGA output specifically for the purpose of adding another monitor. This monitor can be used to either extend the workspace or simply provide a larger one while working at home or in the office. Desktops may require an add-in video card that supports dual display. They will either use DVR VGA connections and may require special adapters. Some may also support HDMI. Various adapters can be used to change the connection type. For instance, you can convert VGA to DVI, or DVI to HDMI. Once you've gathered all the equipment necessary, simply connect the cables from the monitors to the corresponding ports on the laptop or desktop and make sure you're using any adapters necessary. Now let's talk about the software setup inside Windows. There are various types of software. These are usually designed to work with specific brands of video cards. However, today we'll be using Windows, which can be easily configured for multiple monitors, and it can handle up to 10 monitors on its own. Right-click anywhere on the desktop, and then click on Screen Resolution. Click Detect to allow Windows to find newly connected monitors. Click Identify to determine which monitor is which. This will be denoted by a 1 for the primary monitor and a 2 for the secondary monitor. Use the drop-down box labeled multiple displays to choose whether to duplicate or to extend the desktop. Click on Keep Changes if you're satisfied with the results or Reset if you're not. Here we have an example of the mirrored desktop with each monitor displaying the exact same image. This is an example of the desktop being extended with the monitor to the left not having the icons or the taskbar. Also note that the uh, display properties window 
is sitting right in the middle of the two screens. You can change which side of the screen is extended by grabbing one monitor and dragging it to a different location. Congratulations, you can now use more than one monitor. Thank you for viewing.